In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the version 252x2 not installing error code 0x800 F0991 on a Windows 11, then how we can fix it. So let me shortly get into it. So first of all, we need to retry, update or restart the PC and try again. So to do so, we have to go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, we have to navigate to the Windows update and just check for whether you are having any kind of available kind of things like this. For example, if you're having the resume update, just wait for the resume update because for most users, uh, it won't work. So that is the reason I'm saying you can try it out. Or if you have any retry option, you can try for the retry, but I don't have it. Once you just do this in between, it says still I'm getting the error. Windows 11 version at 25H2 is available. I have to download and install it. But for many users, this is not the case. If that is the case, we can just restart your PC. So just click on the start. Once you click on the start, you have to click on the power icon. There is an option to do a restart. You can do a restart and you can check. That might work. Next one is all about, we need to pause and restart the update. That is very important. To do so, we have to go over here in the settings. Now click on the pause update here. You have to either pause it for a week, two week, three week or something. You can just go for three week or something. Just pause it and wait. You have to go for resume update here. Then just wait for it because a resume update will take a lot of time. So, uh, you know, you have to check with that whether that's going to work for not. You can try it out as well. Next one is all about we need to start and restart app readiness, Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. So what you need to do is you have to go over here, search for services and you have to click on the services. Now from here, just wait, you'll be popping up to this. So this is app readiness. So right click on this and go to the properties. Now go to automatic and make sure the service state this is stopper. Just click on the start. So this will take a little bit of time and you have to close it. Now go to the background intelligent transfer service, right click on this one and go to the properties. Make sure this has been set into automatic and go for apply. Now make sure this is up and running, just go for a start. And once you're done with the start, you have to wait. Now close it, right click over here and go to restart option, just wait for it. Once the restart is successfully done, we have to try the next one. That is all about, we have to scroll down here to the bottom and navigate to windows update so just click on the windows update and go to the properties go to automatic and start running just go for ok and right click on this one and you have to do a restart after the restart is done you have to check whether the issue is solved or not if not you can just go back then try this particular command in the windows that is run sfc and dsm command so this is sfc scan now so let me copy this command first so go over here search for the cmd now you have to run it as an administrator. Just wait and go for yes. Now you have to paste the command. Now press enter. So this will take a lot of time. So we have to wait for this completely done. I'll skip this part or I'll uh, uh, zoom. Uh, I'll speed it up. Then once you're done with this particular step, you have to go over here. Now copy this particular command. You have to copy this here. Now once you copy this, just wait so that you have to, after this is successfully complete, you have to paste this DSM command here. Once both the step are finished, you have to move to the next one. Next one is all about we have to use Microsoft Update Catalog that I'll be providing in the video description. So over here, you have to just wait and you have to use the KB value here. So most probably if you go over here in this link that I'll be providing in the video description, that is going to take you to this. So what you need to do is we can skip this part because this is not a KB update error. This is an error with error code 0x8. So you don't have to do anything. You can skip this part. Next one is use option fix probably using Windows update. So just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, go to Windows, not Windows update. Just click on the system, scroll down and navigate to the recovery. Click on fix problem using Windows update. Just click on reinstall now. This will take a lot of time. So just wait for this and you have to do this. And once done, you have to check with it. Next one is all about we need to reset the Windows update component. So just copy this entire command here. You have to copy this one by one. Let me wait. Just copy this. Once the command is copied, you have to minimize this. So let this get process in between. You have to go over here, right click and go to new and create a text document. Now go over here. 
once you get into this you have to paste the command just go to file and go for save as now change this to old file and go for wofix.bat now just scroll down and navigate to the desktop now from here you have to save it you will be seeing a file here now you have to close it you can either delete it you can do whatever you wanted you can delete it now you have to right click on this one go to run as administrator and once you run this as an administrator you have to check next one is all about we have to after you run this as an administrator a restart is a mandatory so try doing a restart and then you have to check next one is use media creation tool that is very important so just go over here in this link that i'll be providing from here you have to use windows 11 installation assistant to download both you can use the create window installation media as well you can use the windows installation assistant to install or update the windows then you have to check after trying all these things you can just go back and you can check whether you're having an issue solved or not if not or if you're having any kind of updates pending over here like this uh you can just download and install it now you have to check whether the issue is solved or not so these are the steps and i hope this quick video is helpful that's it bye